This is AJ's Style Exo, and welcome to my channel. I'll be learning a whole lot about cloth making from scratch. So, even though you don't have any knowledge in tailoring, well, this is the right channel to be on. So, kindly subscribe. So, in this channel, you're going to learn how to make your peplums, your princess that, your kids wear. Even like this top I'm wearing, this is a kimono top. You'll learn how to make all of this in this channel. And if you want to learn how to make something like this, well, let me know in the comment section. I'll be sure. So today I'm going to be learning how to make our panty. But before I go to the work table, I want you to subscribe to the channel. Please, 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 please subscribe to the channel. Click on the subscribe button. So let's go back to the workstation. So you take your waist measurement. For your panty, whatever your waist measurement is, you divide by 4, then you multiply by 0 0.9. Your hip measurement divide by 4, multiply by 0 0.9. Your hip drop for panties is different from hip drop for skirt because your skirt is getting to your navel most times or under your navel, your half length. That's where you take your uh, your waist measurement. But for your panty, your waist is mostly on your abdomen. That is your under waist. So that's where you take it. So that waist measurement is different for me now. My normal waist measurement, my natural waist measurement is thirty four. But for my under my my abdomen, which is my lower waist, is 36, so you see it's bigger. So, you take, it's from that point where you take your lower waist measurement, that's where you take your hip drop, you put your, place your tape on your lower waist. This is a human body now. Can I draw this thing? This is a human body. Am I drawing body? I'm drawing dress. God have mercy. So this is this the waist, and then this the body that comes out and it. So. so this is it. This part that is slim, we regard it as a natural waist. But between here and here, there is a lower waist before the hip. So this is the part you place your tip. Then you now place your tip from here to where your hip forms to get your new hip drop. Then you do your normal sitting down to get your crotch. So you get your waist, you get your crotch, you get your hip drop. So for me, for my panty, my hip drop, for my skirt, my hip drop is 8 inches. But for my panty, my hip drop is 7 inches. But my crotch remains the same. Whether pants, whether trousers, my crotch remains the same. Because you sit down to take your crotch. So it's still the same figure. So for my waist now, my waist measurement I said is 36 divided by 4 times 0 0.9 is 8.1. Then my hip drop is 7 inches. On my hip drop, I'll take my hip. It's not going up to I have to fold this paper again. Okay, so let me take my waist again. My waist upside is 8.1. That is my normal waist measurement, which is 36. My waist now, my lower waist measurement is 36 divided by 4 times 0 0.9. The reason why I'm multiplying by 0 0.9 is because it's stretchy. The stretchy fabric. Then my hip drop is 7 inches. Then I'll take my hip on this 7 inches mark. Take my hip here. My hip is 44 divided by 4 times 0 0.9 is 9.9. .9. I'll just take I'll just take 10 as my 9.9. .9. So this is my 9.9. .9. So I'll connect my waist to my hip. Then I'll take my crotch. I can just rule this line as my hip line. So this is my hip line. This is my waist line. And I'll take my coach. My coach is nine inches. I'll mark nine inches. On this nine inches mark of my coach, I'll go in by one and a half. 1.5. You go in by 1.5. Then you roll it. Then for most your pants, there are different types of pants, but for your basic pants, most times. The wideness here is 2 inches or 3 inches, but we'll do 2 inches for the wideness of your pants. 
So from these two inches, we'll connect it to this 1.5. So this place from year to year is 2 inches here is 1.5 connect this 1.5 mark to the 2 inches on this line that you're using connecting your waist and your hip this is my waist line this is my hip line it's connected here with a curve now on this curved line I'll mark from my waist to 2 inches downward and I'll connect it from 1.5 to the 2 inches then on this line now this part now that is touching the hip line I'll come down I'm going sorry, going what by one and half by half inch or one and half inch. Well, let me just say by one inch. Sorry, I'm going by one inch. Then I'll use my French curve. So from this point now to the one inch mark, and then to this mark too. So this is this is the shape of my sorry. This is the shape of my front part so this is the front then for the uh, the front of the front part and just come down by half inch then you connect it with a slight curve you cannot connect it to the curve draw a straight line from the straight line you can curve it straight line then just curve it so this is it so this is my front panty under panty pattern you take take your waist measurements Take your hip drop, take your hip measurement, take your crotch, take 1.5 from your crotch mark. Connect the, on your, the line that connects your hip and your waist, which is the hip drop line. Take Mark 2 inches from the waist downward. That 2 inches mark is connected to the 1.5. Wherever the line touches your hip line, take Mark 1 inch inward, inside, into the pants pattern, not outward, into it. Then use the French curve to connect from this 1.5 to the 1 inch inward to these 2 inches. So this is it. And this is the front. And this is my front pants pattern. Then for my back pants pattern, I'll use my front to cut my back. I'll just place my front like this on my back. I can decide to okay, let me just make the back pattern a fridge. So we said our waist we used. 8.1 Then we took our hip drop of 7 inches We took our hip measurement of 9.9 .9, Which I, I said I used 10 Connect our hip and our waist together Then we take our crotch measurement Which is 9 inches on the 9 inches mark, instead of 1.5, which we did for the front, we are doing 2 inches for the back. So, this is the 2 inches. The hip line, don't forget to rule your hip line to be sure. This, okay. So, this is the 2 inches mark. Here is 2 inches. This is our hip line. This is our waist line. This is the hip drop line, waist to hip. Then, as usual, we took 2 inches from here. Just mark your 2 inches. Here now is two instead of one and a half, so you still connect it. Then this time now on this line, instead of going inward, you are coming out. Come out with half inch or one inch. I'm coming out with one inch as well. Then you curve it from here to the one inch mark and to these two inches. So this is it. This is your back pattern. So the difference between the back and front is that here we are not coming down by half inch it will remain same why the uh, the uh, gossets this mark here is two inches why for the front is 1.5 that is unfold meaning that when you open it is four inches why for the front when you open it is three inches so this is it this is
this is the back pants. This pants is big, oh Jesus. Back. And then this is the front of the panty. So the next thing we do is to make the gusset. Point of our corset. So you know for the front we took one and a half, so you still mark your one and a half. Your corset line is mostly between four to five inches. So I'll do five inches. If you have big buto, do five inches. If you have small buto, that is small hip, do four inches. So on the five inch mark, I'll take two inches extension. Remember on our pattern for the panty. The back panty is two inches, while the front is one and a half. So that is just what we did here. The one and a half, and then the two inches mark for the back. So you connect both the one and a half and the two inches. Let me not turn the paper. Don't confuse anybody. Connect it. This is the line. Connect it. Then you take the midpoint of this line now. This is five inches. The midpoint is two and a half. On the two and a half mark, you come in by half inch. Then you connect it with a curve. From this point, you connect to the half inch with a curve and then back here with a curve. So this is it. When you cut it, this is your whole set that lies beneath your under panty. This is it. So when you are cutting on fabric, you are cutting two of this. Isn't that making it interesting? Well, I expect you guys to make your pattern, um, different patterns on pants making. But I will drop in a new video soon on how to sew your panty. So just expect that from me. But you have to subscribe to the channel so you can get notified when I drop that video. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. See you in the next video. Thank you.